I have so much more respect and I um, heed to more of his comments, what he has to say about marriage, because here's a man who's been married. So much respect to you, Mr. Let Go, for this comment, this lesson that you learned from being married and just being honest about it and not being shamed about it. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. the number one thing that I learned from my my uh, my marriage and me going in a direction of wanting to be married again. Well, from my marriage, I um, spent a lot of time working and uh, raising my our kids and not enough time with me and her. Always buy flowers, always show up on time. They always make calls, always on It is so, so, so important that men realize something like this that they are contributing factor to the non-romance that might happen in a marriage right they also are a contributing factor and it's not to say that listen you know what the romance has gone out from the marriage so i'm going to step out first look at yourself as first look at yourself and be like what is it that i contributed to this what is it that i could fix what is it that i could take from this um, situation that's happening in my marriage and how can I be able to control the narrative that's going on? What is it that I need to do? And he did that. He, he did that, at least from the aspect of looking from the outside in now that his marriage is no longer. He's able to say that, you know what, this is what I didn't do. And this is what I'm going to do moving forward in my next marriage. He's not saying, well, I'm never going to get married again. And, you know, it was my wife's fault or anything like that. Or I didn't do this because I was working so much. So, you know what, um, th that's the reason why it happened. And that's just what, how life is. No, he took his faults and he turned it into a lesson so i i also want to say that I learned you know, was being a husband being a man being a provider uh being a father all that is cool but one of the things you can't forget is to be a woman's friend mm -hmm. be a woman's like it's, it's, it's bigger than just being a husband being her friend being her boyfriend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying I, Absolutely. I, I stopped being her boyfriend and I was just her husband. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. want to be a woman's boyfriend and husband. I want to give her that feeling like, you know, like if a woman cheats on her husband, that, that feeling of, ooh, ooh, we do You know what I'm saying? Role have play. Sex, have sex in a car, or meet at a strange restaurant, walk up to her. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you know, you know, if you want your marriage to flourish, if you want it to be as if it's the best thing you ever had. You have to put in that work. You have to realize what is it you're contributing to it or what is it you're not contributing to it to make that work. And that when it comes to romance in a marriage, you have to make sure that you as and I love it from the perspective of being a husband. He's coming from the perspective of being a husband. He's talking to the, these men out here. You have to remember to date, to date your wife. You have to remember that, yes, the responsibility that you're taking on in being a provider and working so much, that has a that has a counter effect. He said he was being he was noticing that he was it was it was burning him out. There has to be a balance. Right. And I think maybe if he would have voiced this to his wife to say that, hey, I'm feeling burned out. Right. I'm feeling this is this is what I'm I'm feeling. I don't feel, you know, um, I don't feel that I'm, I'm enjoying my life the way I, I want to enjoy my life. This is a burden on me. I'm pretty sure if he would have voiced it in some ways, he's like, listen, I don't mind providing for my family because he seems like a proud man. And that's not what he's saying. He's not saying that he doesn't want to provide for his family. I'm I'm pretty sure that's not what he's saying. But if he would have voiced that this is this is the effects that it's having, you know, on him, and I don't mean to take it out on you, then I'm pretty sure his wife would be able to step in and say, hey, how can I take some of the burden off you? Do you want me to plan date nights? Do you want me to make sure that, you know, do you want me to make sure to look at what bills we could cut out on? So maybe you could get off a uh, an extra day off of work so we don't have to worry about this particular bill because maybe we don't need that bill so you can now have your time back i mean that communication um would have ha hopefully worked but the point is i love the fact that he understood that being a husband does not only mean that you are a provider and then when it comes to sex that your wife is supposed to just roll over and give it to you and you fulfilled the she fulfilled her duties and you fulfilled your duties no Having a successful, healthy marriage does not require for you guys to go through life as if 
you guys are robots. You have to feed it. You feed your marriage. What is it that you want it to be? You want it to be as if you guys are dating like friends, then date your wife like she's your friend. Take her out. Is it easy? No, it's not easy, but communicate first. Second, first of all, make sure was it you know what you want in a marriage, what it's to look like. Communicate that. And you guys work together to fulfill that and understand what is it that you could control? What is it that you could bring to the table? And you guys could work it out together. Thank you, Mr. Let Go. I love that he said this because this is, uh, I think, um, another big thing that women have within um, their marriage and they feel that, you know, or they feel that their husband is not paying attention to them. Their husband is not dating them. Their husband is not rom romantic. Well, they can't be everything for us, you know, and I don't feel that wives, you need to put that all on your husband. You step up as well. You step up as well. If you feel that you see that he's working so hard, you step up as well and you try to see how you could alleviate some of that for him. If and you guys, if he's not, um, he's not, um, putting the effort to making sure you guys have date nights, then you put that effort. Hopefully, maybe some way, somehow, I could tell you from my personal experience, I, I, since I pay the bills and my husband works a lot, I pay the bills. I look at certain things that I said, hey, we don't need to pay for this anymore. Um, since you, since you worked so much for this week, are you able to take off a day? We trust me, we're we're not hurting for money, so. You know, if he's able to hear that, if he's able to know that, listen, I don't need to work like a dog. I don't need to, you know, um, be pressured to provide. If he's able to hear that from you as his wife, then he will be more relaxed to be like, OK, well, we I, we can, you know, take this extra vacation. We can be able to have our date nights and get back to what it means to be married between both of us. Because, yes, you have kids, but that's not the only aspect of a marriage. You cannot. You cannot neglect the the relationship that you're supposed to cultivate between your husband and your wife. You cannot neglect that. That is not a healthy, happy marriage, and it's not going to last long because, yeah. So, um... I, um, you guys, I want to know down below, can you guys let me know down below if you feel that in order to have a healthy, happy marriage, that you need to make sure you are feeding that romance, you need to make sure that... Both parties are being intentional um, in putting forth that you guys spend time together. You guys date each other. Do you, do you feel, uh, it's a run on question, but do you feel that your husband should be your friend? Your husband should be your friend in order for it to um, make it work. I want to know down below. Thanks a God. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this. And um, I love to talk about all things marriage. My name is Colette and this is Over the Top WME, wife, mother, entrepreneur, I hope you guys are learning a little bit each time that you guys are watching my video, a little bit more about marriage, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between, because that's what I talk about over here. You guys have a good day. Go ahead and support Mr. Let Go. I love his content, and um, he's really trying to um, teach um, young men and young women the importance of marriage. It's a beautiful thing. Bye, guys.